Today we have a new report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This is the second part of the sixth assessment report, which is the most important assessment of the state of climate knowledge ever undertaken. Today's instalment looks at the impacts of climate change, how they affect different populations, and what we can and can't do to adapt to these changes. Now, we must be frank, there is some confronting news in there. Australia is one of the most vulnerable developed countries to the impacts of climate change. Moreover, we have neighbours in the Pacific and indeed communities within Australia, such as in the Torres Strait, for whom climate change is a truly existential challenge. The report explains how climate change is here and now and how it has driven or exacerbated recent extremes like the Black Summer fires and the devastating flooding we are seeing down the east coast of Australia right now. It explains that owing to past inaction, things are going to get worse over the coming decade and how, if we don't take much stronger action, we'll be setting ourselves up for a barely survivable future. But the most important message we can take from this report is that while it is clear that past inaction is costing us dearly, there is still so much we can and must fight for. Let's be clear, every positive action we take, every increment of further warming we avoid, will be measured in lives, livelihoods and species saved. Today's choices will have a profound impact on the kind of future that young people today are going to face. To take just a few examples, stronger action this decade will mean far fewer deaths from extreme heat beyond 2040 than we would otherwise see, fewer impacts upon our mental well-being, and giving some of our most critical ecosystems a fighting chance. As with any climate report in recent times, it would be all too easy to read this report and fall into despair. But there's another way to read it, which is to realise just how much positive difference we can make together at this critical time. Action leads to hope, and Australia has everything it needs to play a leading role in climate solutions. It's time to look out for each other and to build a brighter and safer future together.